welcome to the vlog. Oh, hi, welcome to the vlog. Hi, hi. Oh, you are my sunshine. My little sunshine. You make me ha oh, happy when the skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. I feel like we're going to be showing a lot of my new stuff this week. I bought some new stuff. Uh, I'm really thrilled about it. Some of the things I've needed for a while, some of the things were maybe a little treat. First thing here, I bought from Ole. This is my new suitcase. This is the medium size. Me and Jack have the aluminium ones and we love them, but we've got them in a size large and I don't think I need a large for my kit. See, because I'm a, <laughs> whenever I pack my kit, I basically know what I'm doing uh, and I know what looks I'm creating so I don't really need my full full kit when I would do like weddings and things like that I would need to pack a lot of stuff because sometimes you don't really know especially if you've not done so if you've not done someone's makeup before like one of the bridesmaids or whatever you don't know what you'll need for their skin but for me I choose what makeup to do because it's my brand <laughs> So, I wanted a new kit suitcase. Is this quite small? Are you a little bit smaller than I thought? Oh no, I think this is too small. I can't believe it. Stum it. <laughs> okay, I think it's going to be fine. If that fits another size, let's check. It'll be fine because I tell you why it'll be fine. I've got certain things in my kit. Uh, like storage solutions and stuff that are a bit unnecessary. Like my Mac briefcase, I love it, but I actually don't need it really anymore. It's just full of skincare and stuff. So I placed a huge order on Vive. I had stuff that I needed restocked. I needed all my lashes again for my kit. Uh, and I got a bunch of our essential bags. See our essential plus bag. These make for the best packing cubes and see when they're full. Oh my God, this is perfect. See when this is full, it can go like I can it's got quite a nice like stretch to it. So when it's full, I can have it like one, two, three, four. Kitchen roll for cleaning my brushes, it's gonna be perfect. And then I can fill like one with, you know, lashes, one with skincare, one with whatever I need. So that whole side can be done. And then the only thing that I'm gonna rework, I think, is the sad. This has been a really cool bag actually, but this is the Dior backstage bag. I've given this for PR. And it's good as I've got loads of loads of my kit in here. It's a mess. I need to redo it all. But it's just a bit messy. Do you know what I mean? It's just a little bit messy. All my complexion's all mixed up, half of it's missing. So I think I'm gonna look into changing out this side of things. This is my new case. Is it a, it's a wee bit smaller than I thought, but I think for my kit it will be perfect because the large was just too big. And I really like the colour. Do you not think it does it not remind you of Vive beige. Ho ho ho! Love it. And then I just got back from Ikea. I had to get lint rollers refills, so I got loads of those because dogs. I got the huge pillar candle, which I'm going to put in the living room. And I got two, so I got three of these, and I got two of this size because it's nice to have the different heights. There is a new candle that comes in this glass, which is quite nice, that smells like smoke, like like wood fire, and it's really, really nice. I got three of these because I very much liked it. And then I got a cactus for my conservatory because all of the plants in there are thriving uh, and I wanted another one, so I got that too. The last thing I got from Ikea, you're sitting on top of, it's a new chair. I love my chairs in, that I sit on, but I don't think it's made for sitting on all day on your computer. It's called an occasional chair, which I never thought about, but that obviously means you're meant to sit on it occasionally. It's not good for your back, I don't think. I think they're beautiful, so I'm gonna put them in the window and I've, built, I've got a new chair chair which is like it's nice it looks like a black leather I'm gonna make it right now I'm gonna make it right now it says not to use a knife but I'm guessing that's just in case you hurt the chair and I'm only gonna hurt myself let's be honest but I sat on this in the shop and it looks really comfortable oh nice and it's just black it's like a fake black leather oh instructions no it shouldn't take long it should what are all these fucking bits Oh no! I might wait till tomorrow and get help with this, you know. I don't know if I can be bothered tonight. Ooh. What? Oh, it's in there. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. 
guess what? Wow, that's genius. It's in the back of the chair. Am I really doing this? Yes. Thought I'd skip you the effort. Did it. I have lost one screw, but we have a fully functioning chair. I think I've been the screw, but I don't really think I need it. Not really. Look at me in my big girl chair. <laughs> It's already proving to be very good. It's very high. Well, I can just do this. I'm having one of those weeks. I Google, actually, let's Google it right now. Is there anything wrong with the planets? <laughs> Not Marvin Gate. What is happening with the planets? My typing skills are really good now from emailing. Retrograde. Mercury. Mercury retrograde. When did it start? Two days ago. That makes complete sense. Because I feel like my life's falling apart. It's not, it's not falling apart. I'm having a wee wobbly week. And actually, I remember when I was in Dublin, I was doing like a live Q&A session, uh, talking about the business and stuff like that. One of the questions I got was, if I ever have these days, like the down days, hard times, wobbles, self-conscious moments maybe, I don't know really how to say it. And I was like, yeah, I do. Uh, I feel like I have at least one a month. Girlies, you know what I'm talking about? So I thought I would talk about it instead of waiting until I feel better to come back. I was lying on the couch there and Jack was like, do you want to f watch a film? And I was just staring at the wall and I was like, I don't know what I want. It's just, I'm just having a funny, tough week. So usually what I do in this case, in case this is helpful at all, some of you might just be like, ah, get a grip. And to you I say, back off, spooky bitch. What I usually do is I'm usually kind to myself for a little bit and just be like that. It's all right, it's all right, you're gonna be fine. And then I like count myself down, I'm like that, right, okay, and go. And then I get up and then I get some shit done. I get the little dopamine hits from completing small tasks. Uh, and then I'm just like, ah, right, okay, why am I feeling like this? Sometimes I write it down. So I'm like, ah, why have I got a tight chest? And sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's like, my room's a mess, I'm like, well, you can fix that by cleaning your room. I sound like a child. My office is a mess, like, well, like, somewhere where I work and that I am a lot is a mess. I'm like, ah, well, I can fix that, let's just do that. Exactly what I did in here. I struggle, I just feel like I'm in a wee bit of a vicious cycle, so my room, my, o my office was a mess, I was like, I need to sort it out. So I did that, but then I immediately feel guilty for not filming it, right? Weird, it's just a weird thing to get your head around. Another thing I probably shouldn't have done, let me just make sure I get the name right. I watched a video today on YouTube and it is called Why I Quit YouTube. Don't worry, I'm not quitting YouTube. I actually was just talking to Jack about this because I love you, I actually love it here. I love it here. But I watched Dan Howell's video, Why I Quit YouTube, and it was just really interesting. Yeah, it just kind of opened my mind a little bit. And I think if you're, I think it's really, do you know what, I think this video is amazing to watch. Uh, if you are a creator, it's very cathartic to watch because it's basically someone saying all this stuff that we all get nervous about saying because you never want to be seen as moaning about working or finding it hard because we have such an easy job. And it might be insightful to those who are not. So anyway, I watched that. I'm just having a wobbly day today. I did manage to film. I filmed a couple of things. Got all my work done that I get behind the scenes which is fine. I can quietly get on with that. Sometimes I just struggle with the, I suppose, the face of it all. Sometimes I just want to slob it out. Uh, but I'm getting a grip. So I just thought I'd tell you how I was feeling. Uh, do you want to see how fast I can type? I'm going to show you my fingers. You ready? Okay. Oh my god, this is like ASMR. Did you get tingles? Tell the truth. Oh, okay, I'm holding, a, I'll host an Elisa next week. Let's look that up. So I'm gonna look up Vive Lisa Masterclass. Look, oh God, I'm nervous. Uh -huh. Perfect, perfect spelling and everything. Cool, there you go, click Masterclass, lovely. Right, what else will I type? Okay, hi, my name is Jamie and I am doing great. What comes up? Not me. <laughs> Oh, we have made some productive steps. Would you like to see? Come on, come on then, let's do a little house update because things are about to be moving and shaking. Got my hair cut by Jack Baxter. Thank you very much, Jack. Shout out to Jack. First of all, my office. So I proper cleaned it yesterday. 
uh, and I think it's looking great. I put my new chair down. So much better, look at this. I moved my two occasional chairs. <laughs> and actually, fun fact, I have sat in these occasional chairs many a time. Oh, my wee girl. She went to the vet yesterday, didn't you? Did you go to the vet yesterday? Oh, you do look quite miserable, do you know? Guess what? Do you want a wee biscuit, maybe? Oh, you don't even know. Another thing I've got is my big plant. This is from Hortology. I've talked about that website loads of times. I just really like them. Don't know what this is called. Hold on. I keep my little tags like a little grandma. It's called a Polyscaeus fructosa. Fruticosa. There you go. Got my new kit suitcase, which I'm going to go through properly over the weekend because I've got a shoot next week. I've got my new chair. I've got my spider plants. Look, so the fun thing about spider plants is they have babies and then you can plant the babies and then you end up with millions of different plants. Look how amazing. So what happens is this shot this out and then it started growing another one. So you can just take it out, put it in some water to get some roots and then plant it. This I got from Ikea. It's me and Charlotte's friendship plant. Highly recommend friendship plant. I've uh, got my clear quartz here. To, to help me with communication <laughs> and it's just looking much much better I'm, I'm really feeling quite happy about it remember I got candles I put them out looking good and then if we go upstairs the makeup room's getting cleaned out tomorrow so that'll be great look no carpet we got rid of the carpet so some people may think that that was counterproductive considering we're not getting a new one in anytime soon Oh, straight on the bed. Perfect. Hi, bud. You make that bed look small and it's really not. I really wanted the carpet out of this room because it was just, it was like the last carpet in the house and I just wanted it gone. I was like, I'm done. So I'd rather have, this is like plywood um, and it's been obviously all cleaned and mopped so we can just live like this for a bit because I was just, I was so sick of that carpet. I hated it. The reason we've done that is because our bed is arriving tomorrow so he's coming the guy's coming to drop it off and build it and we're actually we're going to get it built in this room because our room's obviously not ready yet at all but i don't want to live on the floor anymore so the bed's going to get built here it's a foot shorter than this bed because this bed's a crazy size this is a seven foot by seven foot bed it means i don't want it anymore we want a smaller bed we're like ships in the night i don't see him i could honestly i could be sleeping myself and i wouldn't know so we're getting a smaller bed, we're getting a super king size it's called. Bed frame's gonna go here. Mattress is coming on Monday. So we've got a weekend of a bed frame with no mattress. So we're gonna sleep on the floor in the window. And then the mattress comes on Monday and then I get one night in it and then I have to go to London for a photo shoot. And Jack's actually leaving on Tuesday as well. So that's what we did today. We ripped all the carpet and the under layout. It feels much better. So I'll be able to show you the bed tomorrow. I can't believe it. I'll show you the bed frame tomorrow. We also had Gary out, who is our master joiner extravaganza. He can, he's the genius. And we booked him to come and rip out my bathroom. So this ugly ass bathroom will be no more. It served me very well. I've actually, that bath I've grown to love with its sellotape. It's held together with sellotape. I've grown to love it actually. But we've made an order for the bath. We're ordering all the brassware tomorrow and then all we need is to buy a toilet and a sink. The cabinet's getting made by Gary and then we've got, I think he's got a company that he likes in Glasgow that will make our marble top. We're getting rid of the shower in here because what I realised was I don't, I don't want a shower in here. I just want it to be a bathroom sink with all my stuff in it. We're going to get a toilet that's got the chain up here, panelling, big mirror, Wall lights, chandelier, wild, wild. The bathroom of my dreams. Oh, it's gonna be insane. And then as soon as the bathroom's done, we can zip round the bedroom, and then the bedroom's done, we know exactly what we're doing in here. All the electrics are done. By the end of summer, and I know that sounds far away, but really it's not. By the end of summer, we'll have a finished bathroom and bedroom. And then I feel like we can really zip through the rest of up here because it's the spare room in the attic the attic needs proper work done to it that's why the architects were out but i just feel like we've got we've got moving a little bit we've got started the last thing which is happening next week is in here right i feel like this is genius we basically we're going to make the packs look like a built-in wardrobe more than it is already okay i'm getting doors put on the front just the ikea ones but I'm getting doors put all the way to the end here. We're gonna leave this corner exposed and then doors over this. 
What is this going to do, you ask? It's going to make everything look neat and tidy. It's going to protect my clothes from getting dusty. They haven't really been getting dusty, to be fair. This is a very, you know, minimal room. I come in and I do my makeup, my skincare. I'm not constantly like running around in here and the dogs aren't in here a huge amount. It means that we get a little bit of stuff on display in the corner, which I think would be nice. But all this is going to be covered. I feel like it's makeup room 4.0, 5.0, because I think it's going to make look, everything look really, really neat and tidy. And then we're actually getting Gary's made ends for this that are going to be like shaker style ends and it's going to have, I can't remember what you called it, but it's going to have a, a lip right round. It's going to be amazing. Um, what that will mean is that I can film in here a little bit more because this behind me is just a wee bit too cluttered. I love having things out but I think it just feels a little bit cluttered in here and we can make it even more zen. I'm going to do some rejigging so I can have storage and then I might put some like makeup on display here which like will make me very happy, but not all my drawers exposed anymore. <coughs> Feels like a big step. So that's the plan, that's the updates. Things are moving again, which is very, very nice. I get to a point sometimes where I'm just like, ah, okay, I'm done. And then I get the ball rolling uh, because it's so easy to get distracted by everything else, isn't it? So that's an update. I actually feel better already for just talking to you about it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna take my makeup off, get in my pajamas uh, and do some stuff on the couch on my laptop and then that's really it. I'm calling it tea. I'm calling time on this day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, it's Friday evening. We've had a really, I said last week, I think that uh, it's been a really busy time for the business, but I, I also have said before that I'm terrible for celebrating things. I never really know when the right time is, and then usually by the time that you know it feels like celebrating, it feels like it's too late. So we are having a bottle of champagne for dinner tonight. This is a bottle of Dom Perignon that I've had. I think I got this for a Christmas present from someone that I work with um, on the Vive side of the business. It's a really exciting time and there's been a lot of hard work to get to the place that we've got to, so... I chilled a bottle of champagne for me and my family! <laughs> oh nice, that's clean! Good morning! It's Saturday! I'm just getting ready. I'm going vintage shopping today. Well, antiques shopping. I'm putting my dunks on. I've got... <sighs> These leggings from Zara, they are great. Look, so nice and fitted. I got these in a large, nice and tight around my thighs, a little bit bigger in my waist, but that's fine. I feel like Zara sizes are very unpredictable. Uh, oh my god, love. I got my Harley Davidson t shirt on. I get asked where I get these from. I, I get them from anywhere I find them. Just Google. Vintage Harley Davidson t-shirts and usually you find them and I've tied it with a bauble and I've just tucked it like in between my bra Just because I wanted a little bit more shape. This is my makeup. Very easy. Filmed it for TikTok. Bag is from Zara. I am obsessed. You can get it monogrammed so you can get your initial. It's like a cool beach bag. I, I flipping love it. Me and Jack are going away in the summer so I really wanted a beach bag and I, I thought that this is such a nice one. I'll link it for ya. Let's let these doggies out and then let's go. Hands up who's obsessed with Jack Harlow. I'll double pan that. And also his interview with uh, Amelia Chicken Shop Date epic. Uh, I just got to Sterling. This is very, very nice. I grew up kind of near here. This is like our nearest city. Is it a city? I think so. I used to come here all the time with my family and I love it. I love Sterling so much. So if you're not from Scotland, let me show you about one thing about Sterling that I forgot is parking's horrific. Uh, I was just driving around all the streets and it's up on a hill so you kind of go up and down the hill and there's loads of one ways. Anyway, I find it harder driving here than I do Glasgow. I can drive in Glasgow no problem, but driving in Stirling's, I, f I think, a nightmare. We're going to a wee shop. Oh, where is it? I need to walk there because I'm, I'm a wee bit away, which is a shame because I thought I was maybe going to get furniture. But I can maybe just take my car. Four minute walk. Oh my God, fine. 
That's the nice thing about Sterling, it's small. That was really good though. I love my I love driving through here so much. It's making me very happy. Sterling kind of reminds me of St Andrews actually. But my cousin got married there and I think we stayed in a wee house around here. There used to be a restaurant here, I think it was here or down there called Papa Joe's and we would go there all the time as well. Oh, I love coming back here. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> to where we've come, it's a family affair. There's six of us, children and everything. There's a child right next to me. <laughs> ah! Do you know what? It's called Gothic Funk. And it's right down here. Oh, how fun. Optical illusion. Yeah. Like, 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 do you want to spin it? Wow. Cool. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, this place is amazing. So I've managed to sniff out these lamp bases and then over here there's a chandelier which I think would be perfect for the ensuite when it's finished and it's got little cherub faces. Absolutely love it. Right, Kelty's kangaroo. Look at look at th this is this is next level chips. This is next level chicken club. This looks like next level macaroni cheese. Is it good, Ruby? Mm, I've not tried it. You've not tried it yet. Okay. Good morning. Oh, look at this. This is our new bed frame. There's a couple of things that I need to tell you about. Jack, I'd made it all nice. Jack's just been lying on it. But this bed frame, I've had my eye on it for years. I remember looking at this exact bed frame when we lived at the farm. Uh, it's from Feather and Black. It's called the Versailles bed. So it's a super king. Our mattress is like a European, <laughs> you did you know, thanks Jack. Our mattress is a European emperor, I think. So it hangs off, see if I show you. It's actually hanging off the bed. What a result because I don't know if it would have fit. I don't know if we would have been able to fit the bed frame and the mattress. The sad thing is the bed frame's faulty. The guys came to build it. I'm actually, I'm waiting on a call from customer service. So I'll update you on how they rectify it because it's not a cheap bed at all. <laughs> and I think looking forward to something for so long and for it not to be perfect is a shame, but um, I'm gonna wait and see what customer service say. So basically the headboard part of it, look how stunning, but there's meant to be like metal for the screws to go in and it's missing them. So I think in two weeks time or something, they're gonna come out and change it out. So it's not 100% sturdy. We kind of had the choice. We could have told them to take it away, but honestly, I just, I was like, well, we'll just be really careful, I guess. I cannot believe the difference in having a bed frame makes to our mattress. It is so comfortable. We've had two nights sleep in this bed and I, every, I, like my back already feels unbelievable. I'm obsessed. So our new, our new mattress is still coming tomorrow. Today's Sunday. And we're gonna keep this mattress and get a new bed frame for the spare room. So basically we're just giving this mattress to the spare room and we've got our whole new mattress. So it didn't go perfectly. But it's working, so I'm happy. The lilac walls wasn't my vision. Look, it just looks so much better. I can't, it's like 10 times better. And we got rid of this big long Alex drawers because we just we don't, don't, honestly don't need that storage. And we've got the bedside tables that match this come in. Anyway, I really like how like far off the floor it is because if it was too tall, I think it would overtake the room. But it's just perfect. I'm actually, I'm delighted. See if it had all gone swimmingly and uh, the bed wasn't faulty, I would be absolutely delighted. The process and stuff for ordering was fine. Delivery was fine. The guys that came to build it were great. It's just the actual bed that's faulty, so we'll figure that out. The stuff that I showed you from the vintage shop, the, the antique shop, uh, I also, I got a painting that I love, but we need to go back and pick it up next week. And I got two wall lights as well. Oh, I love them. Someone is, uh, posted these on my Instagram stories and a few a few of you were like, oh my God, Beauty and the Beast vibes. How cool. So it looks like candles, but you can stick the lights in and then actually you can get wee lampshades that just go on top of the bulb. But my idea was to replace these these little wall lights, I don't like. They remind me of Jumanji. So I want to put these in here instead and I'll get a new mirror. And then I actually think I really want to wallpaper this room. I feel like the wee, like, downstairs bathroom you can go a bit wild in. Uh, so I think we'll make it quite like a dark powder room vibe. I've got wee beady eyes today, do you know why? 
me and Jack were up late, well it was like half twelve, but we shared a bottle of wine and watched Eurovision. It was great. I've never really watched Eurovision before, but it was actually it was very fun. I'm ready to go on my Peloton. I've been back on the Peloton not that long, like 10 days. I had a long, a long time off it for a few reasons, but I'm back on it and I'm really enjoying it actually. This set's from Gymshark. So the leggings and the, the wee top. And my routine, which I really like, I go in my Peloton and then I go in my hot blanket, my infrared blanket for half an hour afterwards and I really, it, it's making me feel really good. I think that I've just been a bit up and down health wise that cold, you can kind of still hear it, I'm not 100% but I feel much much better so I'm just making a real effort to do my exercise, look after my skin and stuff like that, I'm just trying to, trying to put me first. Anyway, we'll see you next week, thanks for hanging out, bye! Cool, look at the light! Whoa! <laughs> well, this is good. Got a spot on the end of my nose. Yeah, like a fat, a fat. <laughs> I'm a fat cat. Drop Please, buddy. Drop back. Come on, go. <laughs> Ow. Oh, right, okay, that's a problem. What was the reason? Oh, what is this? <laughs> what have I done? Why, 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 why? Charlotte is the. <laughs> She looks like you, she, you look like you're pushing the car. <laughs>